Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Rewind back at it again with another character guide. This time we're breaking down Johnny Cage, and I'm gonna do a brief introduction over myself just in case nobody caught the last guide that I did, which was Liu Kang. And by the way, guys, haven't already watched that guide? Go ahead and check it out. But anyways, I'm a professional MK11 player from the United States, Evo champion at the age of 17 years old. I'm currently 20 years old, multiple-time world finalist. Yada yada yada. Bunch of top eights across multiple games. But anyways, let's get into this Johnny Cage guy you guys been waiting for. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to Dash5 for more character guides and check out their website for all things FGC. Stick around to the end of the video to see which character guide is coming up next. All right. Alrighty, up next, I'm gonna go over the variation setup you should be using with Johnny Cage. A lot of pro Johnny Cage players alongside myself use these variations for the most part. We got Throwing Shades, we got Pissed Off, and we got Rising Star. Throwing Shades is broke because it leads to big boy damage. Always, once you get that Fatal Blow and you get Fatal Blow territory, Throwing Shades becomes a KB if you cancel it. Pissed Off is amazing because it's an armor break. It tacks on a bunch of damage at the end of his combos. And then we got Rising Star. It's amazing because it catches people off guard for trying to take their turn after your pokes. And it's just really safe. It's just really fast in general. A situation you might see yourself possibly equipping something else over one of these moves would probably be, be replacing Pissed Off and Rising Star with Camera. That's only because Camera does not allow the opponent to break away because most of the time they're actually never getting launched into the air so camera is also a really good move if you don't want to equip pissed off a rising star and you're tired of people breaking away all right as usual for my personal guides i usually go over first the best single hitting buttons that a character has so what i mean by that is i'm gonna go over his best anti-air buttons and some of his best neutral buttons in general all right first up on the list we got stand one this move is seven frames on startup and it is his fastest punisher. It is also an amazing stagger and it is plus three on block, which also contributes to it being an amazing stagger. All right, next up, nothing too special. We got down one, it's just a seven frame poke, really good poke. Next up, we got stand two. And two is also plus three on block, also an amazing stagger, also an amazing anti -air. Didn't say that about stand one either, but stand one and stand two are both amazing anti -airs. All right, next up, we got back three. This button is a low. The reason that makes it so good is because it goes stupid far, and it is his only low starter. So if you want to clip some legs, do that back three. All right, next up, we got four three. It is a high, but it is a super far forward advancing normal. It is a great stagger, and if it lands, it is also a combo starter. All right, next up, down three, nothing special. Just a really good poke. It's also a low. So if you see your opponent is blocking high, and you want to clip some legs, but you don't want to commit to back three, go for down three. All right, next up, we got four, four. Not a great stagger, but is a forward advancing mid, which is something that Johnny really lacks is the lack of mids, but he has at least one. So four, four is an amazing mid if you want to just check an opponent for not blocking or mashing too much. All right. One of his most slept on buttons down four it is just a poke but on block it has a ton of pushback if it hits you're guaranteed your turn a lot of people don't even have an answer for johnny's down four because it is so good so fast so throw out that down for a lot if you don't know what else to do with johnny you should at least be doing this all right up next we're gonna go over johnny's best strings for offense and pressure so first up, we got 1-2. One, 1-2 two. One, two is an amazing stagger because 1-2 is in two different strings. You got 1-2-1 one, one, and you got 1-2-4, which are also two of his other best strings for pressure and offense. So people are constantly expecting you to finish the string, right? So that's what makes 1-2 such a good stagger because you could just stagger and possibly just grab them. All right, next up, we got 1-2-1. One, 1-2-1 two, one. One, two, one is amazing because a lot of people get shimmied by it because when you think Johnny's going to grab... And then you go for that string. A lot of people, for some reason, get opened up by it because it looks like an odd, it kind of auto shimmies them in a way. And 1 2 1 is also special cancelable, so you can also confirm it into Pissed Off or Rising Star and Fireball, all that stuff. 
to tap back more into one two one two is also amazing because you can hit confirm it into nut punch so hit confirm it into full combo if you know somebody's gonna get hit by it since stand one is your fastest punisher at seven frames all right you got one two four one two four is similar to one two one but the difference is one two four on block has pushback so that's amazing because that means you can always throw this move out safely and the opponent really can't do anything about it once they block it because of all this pushback Le look where it leaves us to we're this far away from each other after an opponent blocks it so you never have to worry about getting punished for throwing this move out all right next up we got 244 244 is an amazing string because you can easily confirm it into nut punch to get a big boy combo it's also somewhat of an auto shimmy if people are trying to tech or trying to react to throws and due to this string being so good that opens up sand 2 to being a good stagger all right next up we got three four this move isn't really good to just throw out really it's really good for if you know somebody did something super punishable and you want to hit them with your most optimal uh starter so three four is amazing for if somebody did something super punishable and you want to hit them for big boy damage all right next up we got four three four four i'm pretty sure you all remember that button four three i was talking about this button goes hella far and the only con to 4-3 is the first hit is a high, but the rest of these hits are mid. So after the 4-3, the 4-4s four are both mids. So typically, if somebody's trying to duck your 4-3, the 4-4s four would clip them if they weren't ready for it. And it's easily hit confirmable in a nut punch. All right, next up, we got back 3-4. So earlier, you guys remember, I was talking about back 3 being his only low. But the thing is, back 3 by itself is garbage. You have to do the whole string if you want to hit confirm it into nut punch. I mean, you can't just do back 3 nut punch, but who the hell would do that over doing the whole string into it that way you can see if they reacted to it or not so back three four his only low starter easily hit confirmable in a nut punch and it goes really far typically if somebody's ducking your four three that's when you want to throw out back three four all right next up we got four 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 the string is his only real mid that's why typically johnny's uh problems as a character is a lot of his buttons start with highs like all of these start with highs his back three is a low, but that's really slow. And if somebody were to ever jump over your back three, you're going to die. Four, three, uh, four, four, four is safe on block, making it relatively risk-free to throw out. The only thing is if an opponent gets hit, you don't get anything for it. But it is a good button to just keep in mind to have if somebody's just not blocking. All right, for this section of the guide, I'm about to go over corner and mid-screen BNBs and just show you the optimal Johnny Cage combos that you guys should be doing.
So last thing with Johnny Cage is I'm going to go over his game plan and what he really excels at. And what that is specifically is strike throw. Johnny Cage is one of the best strike throw characters in the game because he has a bunch of amazing strings that make you really want to block. A lot of these strings you don't want to get hit by because he leads to really good damage, especially with pissed off. So a lot of his pressure would look like just doing a lot of strings into EX Force Ball because EX Force Ball is safe. For one, it deals a lot of chip. A lot of these strings are amazing at... You can hit confirm all these strings into Nut Punch if you see it hit. If you don't see it hit, go on a Force Ball. Or you could just do the string by itself because it's safe anyway. And throughout all these strings that you're doing, you could easily just stagger, grab, stagger, grab, stagger, grab. And the opponent is constantly guessing between you either staggering or you finishing the string. And if they're not reacting and you notice that, you can grab them. So that's really the game plan with Johnny is strike throw. Just try to make your opponent block. And he has really good zoning. Well, alrighty, guys. That'll be it for the Johnny Cage guide. That'll wrap it up. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a thing or two, hopefully. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out that Liu Kang guide that I made with Dash Fight a while back. By the way, you can check out all things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. And oh yeah, my next character guide will be...